Oh god, the amount of dust that just came off Enzo. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Hi, Enz. How are you? How are you, it? Life updates. So a lot of people have been asking, you know, what's going on? What am I up to? And it's only the beginning of 24, but I, f I feel like there's just a lot going on all of a sudden. 23 was more quiet and restorative, and 24 seems to have gotten off to a really quick start. I feel like I'm, I've hit the, uh, the ground running from day one, from January 1st, pretty much. And it's a lot of exciting things happening. I just finished my 10th cookbook shoot, which was really exciting. The book doesn't actually come out until spring next year, but these things take forever in planning. And I spent the better part of 22 and 23 writing it. It was fun to kind of watch all the photographs and all of the dishes coming together. The book is called Super Italian, and it's really about the Italian superfoods and the best ways to use them and how I've been using them pretty much my whole life. So if you're interested in knowing how a cookbook comes together, go to jodzy.com or click the link in the description. Okay, tell me about your new restaurant opening up. So I have a new restaurant opening um, in Scottsdale. This is a project that's taken about five years to come to fruition. I signed the deal in 2019. Obviously the pandemic happened and all this stuff happened and finally we're gonna open it in two weeks. So it's really exciting. It's in a Caesars Republic hotel, which is the first hotel. Caesars Palace has kind of um, teamed up with another group of hotel people um, to create sort of a luxury experience without any kind of gaming. So it's the first kind and it's really fun to be a part of it. It's in Scottsdale in a really cool area right by a giant mall and it's really hip and cool. And I feel like the great thing about Scottsdale is that it's a feeder city to Las Vegas and from California. And I feel like it's a lot of the same people and even new people going into Vegas. So I feel like they, all the restaurants will feed each other. A Luna is opening and a Pronto is opening in that hotel. So it's really exciting. I love the idea of having a restaurant and a quick serve all in one spot. It's always been a dream of mine, so I'm excited to start it. This is a big year for Jade. She turned 16 at the end of March. She is driving already. For her 16th birthday, she wants to, she wanted to go to the beach or an island somewhere. So we finally just landed on Hawaii. We're going with some family friends so that my goddaughter will be there too with Jade. I feel like we've just transitioned from Jade being a child to Jade being an adult in a way. She is a sophomore in high school now. She's awesome, but man, does it ebb and flow. Every day is a different day when you have a teenager, especially when you have a girl. But she is overall a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Teaching her to drive, I will say, is difficult for me. I leave that to her dad. I get really nervous. I didn't think I would, but I do. And I'm constantly playing with my foot, like trying to break, but I can't break. <laughs> and she knows it. Or I'll grab the handle of the, um, of the door and just like hold it really tight. And she'll look at me and she'll be like, mom, calm down. I think I stress her out in the car. So I've decided that I'm not going to do that anymore and I'm gonna leave it to her dad and uh, the driver's ed teacher. I think, I think it's better that way. I'm also traveling to Milan soon. I haven't been to this particular event before, but we're going to the Salone di Milano. Yeah, it's like a fashion and design um, event that happens in Milano every year. If you think of like a fashion runway shows, it's the same thing, but for design. Jodzi is moving into lifestyle and we're gonna have our own um, tabletop uh, designs. And so, you know, tablecloths and napkins and all that kind of stuff. You know, I really wanted to go there for inspiration, to meet um, designers and to meet producers in Italy that can do the linens for us. Just network. Um, see a friend of mine, JJ Martin, who has a double J there and, and just kind of um, immerse myself in that world of design. You know, I've gone to many food shows, but I've never really gone to a design show specifically. I'm really looking forward to it. So there's a lot of exciting things happening at Jodzi. You know, when I started Jodzi in 2014, it's always been a way for me to connect um, with all of you and to kind of grow together and tell stories because the storytelling, it grounds us, it gives us a purpose, it tells us who we are, it helps us to kind of enrich our lives. And so, 
you know, as this community of Jodzi um, is grown and it has grown quite a bit in the years since, I also want to keep the true essence of what it was that I started this business to do. And as you grow, that gets harder. And that's why I'm so excited to launch the membership. Maybe it's not for everyone because not everybody wants to go on that journey. Some people just want to come into the shop and buy pasta, sauces, tomatoes, whatever. But for those of you who want to go deeper on this journey with me and connect one on one, the membership's going to be really exciting and a great way to do it, I think. There's going to be live streams with me cooking. There's going to be exclusive videos, exclusive recipes, exclusive travel guides that you guys can really rely on to have a perfect vacation, which is what I'm looking to do in Italy. There's going to be exclusive products from friends of mine in Italy that is limited. There'll be tabletop. There's just so many things that you know, the first iteration is just one part of it. If people want to go down the journey with me, then we'll grow the membership and we'll have a lot of other experiences down the line. I really want to take people to Italy with me. I eventually someday want to have, you know, some kind of vineyard where I could teach classes and we can, you know, pick grapes and make wine and olive oil and have olive trees and olive groves and citrus, all sorts of fun things. I just wanna see how the journey goes. It's a really fun journey. And hopefully you guys will come down and um, we can do this together. A lot of people are wondering when I'm gonna have like a new show on TV again. I left Food Network now two years ago, I think, and I haven't really done a lot of television since. I've been working a lot of other things, restaurants and Jodzi and stuff, but not really TV. I have a few projects that I am hoping um, to finish this year with Amazon. So you'll probably be seeing a couple of new shows coming out. One of, one of them will be a renovation, a kitchen renovation, high-end kitchen renovation show. Um, another one is sort of a inspirational competition show, I would say. Hopefully by the end of 24, you guys will see me back on TV on Amazon. So it's exciting. It's an exciting year. I'm really looking forward to it. So Virginia Smith, you want to know if I have any uh, plans to do any more Hallmark movies? And I do. I have two in the works. One is a Christmas movie and the other one is uh, a story based on my grandmother, Recipe Diary. So I'm working on them. Are you going to be in them? I'm going to have a cameo in them. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to be the star or anything. Um, but just a little, maybe a little cameo. And maybe Jade too, but I'm working on it. There's a real feel good moment about, about Hallmark. And to be honest, one of my favorite things on a Sunday to do is to read the modern love section of the New York Times. In fact, I get the Sunday paper mostly for the modern love section. I always thought it would be so cool to make movies that are about different types of love, right? It could be friendship love, it could be, um, it could be, um, relationship, any kind of relationship love. And I really enjoy it. And Hallmark is a great outlet for me to, to actually delve into that part of, of what I love to do. For everyone asking how Rafi is, um, specifically a PGH sauna, um, Rafi's great. She's great. She splits her time between LA and Aspen. Um, and she spends the summers mostly in Aspen or in Italy. I will see her on Saturday. We are celebrating my little Aunt Carolina and her son's birthday, both of them. And my little uncle, I know I call them these things, but it's just because they're young. They're technically my grandfather's kids. But anyhow, we're celebrating everybody's birthday and we're getting together at Carolina's house this weekend to celebrate them and Rafi will be there. Um, and we usually get together as a family once a month if we can. Um, depending on people's schedules. And my aunts, they all have babies now. The next generation is in full swing. There are babies everywhere. It is so fun. Because there's such a generation gap between myself and uh, my cousins and my little aunts, it's so fun to babysit. It almost feels like I'm already a grandma, but technically I'm not. So, but I love it. I love the little kids. They're so much fun. They bring so much joy, you know? They're so real. It's been really fun playing with them. A big part of what I like to, what I'm trying to do too is since I got a new rescue, Enzo, Enzo tends to go in the pool all the time and I have a certain shape pool that I can't have a cover. And so I'm trying to teach him not to go in the pool so much and I'm trying to train him. And you know, you always think like one more dog, no big deal, but 
man, oh man, it is just chaos in my house. So I'm trying to train them. <laughs> I think Enzo's brothers are home. Why is all excited? My animals are a really big part of my life. So they're like children. I have to schedule them. I have to do all this stuff. So they keep me young and it's, it's super fun to have their energy around. How are you maintaining any sense of like peace with like everything that's going on right now? I do yoga five days a week. I have to, I have to, have to, um, to keep my sanity. I like to go in the infrared sauna and I like to do these cold plunges in my pool when it's like 40 degrees in my pool in the middle of the winter. I feel like they just really help me. I do thrive on the busyness. I don't know that I mean, my mind thrives on the busyness. I'm not sure my body thrives on the busyness. I think that's always been my, uh, my battle in life. Is the battle is between what my mind wants and thinks it can do and what my body wants and thinks it can do. And they're not always on the same page. So that is like the work I try to do is to get them both on the same page, which means go, 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 but then I also need the quiet time as well. Otherwise, I'm out of balance, and once I'm out of balance, it's just a spiral. That's me so far in a nutshell. And you know, we'll see, we'll see how this year unfolds. It's still quite early. It's really fun to be able to connect with you guys and just, I don't know, give you give you sort of a rundown on what's going on, you know? But I will definitely keep you posted as to how things unfold. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen or what's not gonna happen. So anyway. Stay tuned and we will do this again in a few months and see where we're at.